Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Marseille leveling base, which is this little device that allows you to level out your head and uh, then obviously, you know, just to get your shot straight or to not get your shot straight if you want to. So right now I've adjusted the uh, bowl right there under the slider, the, the connection to the tripod, and then uh, I'll adjust this as well. So that will allow me to get shots like this. So it's still straight, but I'm sort of moving slightly upwards. And this will only allow you to do it slightly but it's, uh, you know, it's a very, very useful device. I always use these together with my bigger slider systems. So, uh, okay, so let's take a look at how strong this is and what I like and what I don't like. Now this little tiny knob can ratchet, which means that if you need to move it out of the way without releasing this, then you can actually pull it back, adjust it, and then put it back inwards. And that's a very useful feature. Of course, it can still sometimes get in the way, even though it has that ratcheting feature, but uh, you know, it's still very useful to have. So now let's do a strength test with this. So this is released so that it can move. And this is gonna lock it. Now the lock here, it locks okay when you just do it like that once, but that, that's still gonna be movable. So I'm gonna try to lock it even more. And by the way, that's totally usable. It's not gonna move uh, in most situations, but if we wanna lock it even more, then I'm gonna move this back and then turn it again. And just really, really as tight as I can. And then let's see if I can move it. I can move it, but I mean, that's basically as hard as I can push on that. And so I'm using it with a little plastic disc, which helps it to lock more tightly against the head because it allows it to spin a little more and then get a, a tighter grip. So this might work sometimes, sometimes it might not work. So sometimes you might want to use a, you know, something silicone just to get more grip or rubber to get more grip. And we also have the option to lock this down with three little hex screws right here, which would basically close from here, here and here and just put pressure up against the head and prevent it from untwisting. And keep in mind that that might scratch or slightly damage your fluid head at the bottom there. Now at the top here, we've got a quarter inch connection, which means you could use this together with a camera directly, which I would never do. The bottom of most heads is gonna be a three eighths inch connection. So you just need one of these little adapters. Same goes for the bottom here. You can use it together with most things like a slider or a tripod, or you can use it with something that has a quarter inch by using an adapter. So that's a three eighths inch connection right there. Okay, now two things I'd like to see improved is, first of all, this knob right here, it's got these grooves that are supposed to help you grip it better, but really all it does is it hurts your fingers when you try and turn it. Uh, you know, especially when you're trying to turn it really tight, when it's connected right there, you're trying to turn it with the tips of your fingers, and that just hurts. It's just got these really sharp grooves. Doesn't help at all. So that's gonna be easy to fix. You know, you can get some Sugaru, which is this uh, sort of rubber stuff that you can connect to things, or just with whatever, you know, a piece of tape or whatever, but really they just should have had a longer piece right here, rather than try and make this more grippy. The other issue is that when this came out of the box, it was absolutely covered in grease over here where the ball is. And so that means that it's completely unusable like that. You'd have to clean it. Otherwise you'd get grease on your camera and your camera bag and everything. So you have to clean this up. And without sort of opening this up and undoing it, I was able to clean most of it up fairly easily. But sort of every time you move it, a little bit more grease comes out. And if you wanna properly clean this, then you're gonna to have to actually undo some screws here and take it apart and then clean it properly from the inside, which we will do in another video. Now here's an example of why I would really prefer for this to be a dedicated 3 8 inch rather than trying to be a quarter inch, which means basically both a ball head for connecting directly to a camera and a leveling base for connecting a fluid head on top of here. So this piece is actually hitting against there and I'm not actually able to screw this on all the way. So I need to use a piece of plastic, which is actually you know quite thin as a, uh, you know, as a little separator between them. But that means that once I do that, I'm only able to turn it once, which means it's being held on by one thread here. And this is aluminium and one thread of aluminium is not enough to hold a slider, which is what I'm trying to do here. And this thing is short because to use directly with a camera, it has to be short. Longer screws than this normally won't work together with some cameras. They just don't go in all the way and then the camera just wobbles. So we can improve that issue a little bit by using an adapter, which grabs onto the threads a little better, and then using this, and then using this directly to there. So that means that we've now got a good amount of threads to hold onto, and we can actually lock that tight. So uh, not a huge issue, it's still gonna be usable, but it's not really ideal. Uh, this thing shouldn't be trying to be both a bullhead and a leveling base. And I'm gonna lock the leveling base down all the way with finger strength, but not using tools. So now let's see whether this is strong enough. So I'm gonna press on the side of the slider. So that for most cameras with a slider should actually hold pretty well, 
So my conclusion is that it's actually a pretty good product. You're just gonna have to clean up that oil and maybe put something on here so that it's a little bit more comfortable to uh, turn this and use some little adapters with it. But other than that, I mean, it works fine, nice and strong. And uh, yeah, I like it. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And by the way, this review is being filmed with the Pixapro 100D Mark II Plus, which is the version that can also run off of a V-mount battery pack like you're seeing right here. All right guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.